Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles, elders, and great millstone. And peace and salutations and blessings to you, brothers out there, teaching this word in truth and sincerity and faith on the highways and hedges. <clears throat> and Shalom to the hopeful elect. So, article I just came across um, Cron Ford News, but it's a national headline. It says, detaining immigrant kids is now a billion-dollar industry. South Padre. June 18th, 2018, file photo. Dignitaries take a tour of Southwest Key Program's Casa Padre, a U.S. immigration facility in Brownsville, Texas. It's <clears throat> a lot. Detaining immigrant children has morphed into a surging industry in the U.S. that now reaps $1 billion annually, a tenfold increase over the past decade. Health and Human Services grants for shelters, foster care, and other child welfare services for detained, for detained unaccompanied and separated children soared from $74.5 million to 2007 to $958 million in 2017. The agency is also reviewing a new round of proposals and made a growing effort by the White House to keep immigrant children in government custody. All right, so the so-called white man, he's just, you know, taking these immigrant kids and using them as a way to make money off of them or keep them as slaves. Putting them in these government facilities, keep them in government custody. And when you're in government custody, according to the 14th Amendment, you're pretty much a slave. Straight up, you are, you're a straight up bond. Currently, more than 11,800 children for a few months old to 17 are housed in nearly 90 facilities in 15 states. Arizona, Carolina, Connecticut, Florida, and so on. They're being held while their parents are awaiting immigration proceedings or if their children arrive unaccompanied or reviewed for possible asylum themselves. In May, the agency issued requests for bids of five projects that would total more than $500 million for beds, foster care, and therapeutic care and secure care, which means employing guards. More contracts are expected to come up for bids in October, so it's getting more and more expensive. People are making a big deal of these kids getting uh, separated from their families. The white man's making money off of it. That's why he's doing that, man. It says, uh, Health and Human Services spokesman Kenneth Wolf said the agency will award bids based on the number of beds needed to provide appropriate care for minors in the program. And you know the so-called white man, you're doing all kinds of sick shit to them kids, man. The agency's current facilities include locations for what the Trump administration calls tender age children, typically under five. Three shelters in Texas have been designated for toddlers and infants. Others, including tents in Terrenal, Texas, and a tent and building temporary shelter in Homestead, Florida, are housing older teens. Tents! All right, tent and building, temporary shelter. They got these, man. This is hell. Over the past decade, by far the largest recipients of taxpayer money have been Southwest Key and Baptist Child and Family Services. So, as an Southwest Key has received 1.39 million billion in grant funding to operate shelters, Baptist Child and Family Services have received 942 million. Yeah, and these are supposed to be. Your Baptist, Southwest Key. One's supposed to be Christian. They're just making billions of dollars. Okay, another big recipient, Texas, seventy-two million. All right. Oh, and recipients of the money run the gamut for nonprofits, religious organizations, and for non -ent for and for-profit entities. Organizations originally concentrated on housing and detaining at-risk youth, but shifted their focus to immigrants when tens of thousands of Central American children started arriving at the border, U.S. border, in recent years. Yeah, so remember they were busing them out and just dropping them off. These companies like, hey, you know what? We'll make more money housing these kids than doing these other kids. <laughs> They're essentially government contractors for Health and Human Service Department, the federal agency. The administrators of the program keep immigrant children in custody. Organizations like Southwest Key Assisted Children are well cared for, and the vast sums of money to they receive are necessary to house, transport, educate, and provide medical care for thousands of children 
while complying with government regulations and court orders. All right. So I'll put the uh, rest of the article. It goes pretty deep. All right. You know, they're trying to play it up like these people are doing a good thing. It's wicked, man. You're supposed to be taking the kids away from their parents. That's all part of the curses. Right? This is uh, Deuteronomy 28:41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Yeah, and they've got thousands of these kids in straight up captivity. Property of the U.S. government and the federal government, the U.S. government—they they don't give a—they don't give a damn about you, you uh, so-called Latinos, right? You, you so-called Central Americans, you Mexicans, so-called white man. He's—he's he's just looking to make money off of you, and he has you doing such in, in slavery right now. Right. This is a uh, Jeremiah fifteen and one. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Such are as for dearth of Salakia, such as for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such are as for the captivity to the captivity, right? And that's what our people are doing, man. They're going from one country, right, their homeland, Central America, the third world, and they're coming here to America just to go from one state of slavery to another state of slavery, right? All, all the while the so-called white man is a billion dollar, and this guy over here is becoming a billionaire. Already a billionaire, but making even more more billions. All right. So I just want to bring out this article, man. Our people are in hardcore bondage and slavery still to this day, and the so-called white man, he's the one, he's the captor, right? He's, he's gonna be. You're going to slavery, all right? You're not. We're not gonna have a facility for you, devils, all right? All right. It's gonna be. We're gonna go back. We're going to go back into the old ancient ways with you, man. 